Good morning, afternoon, or evening, as the case may be, in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer. I recently subscribed to a gentleman that uh, had done something earlier, and uh, I didn't agree with it, but, uh, you know, I gave him the respect that was due, and uh, caught up with him on stick cam the other night, and uh, watched one of the videos, probably... 10, 15 minutes ago. And his name is Billy Biggin, 64. And it was interesting because thanks to some changes that have recently happened in my life, um, I was kind of out here alone looking for something to do and something to take my mind off of some of the problems I'm having and uh, bounced into his latest video about friendship. Now, I had been going to make a video and decided not to make it because I decided it just wasn't worth it. But after seeing Billy's video, I rethought that. Billy's video is on friendship. And if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to either look on my profile or go to the link that I've provided for you here so you can go over and see Billy Biggin64 coming at you live from his cyber front porch. Billy's a real likable guy. He's got some editing skills, and the show that I saw was very entertaining. But Billy talked about friendship, and I put his video on my profile for that reason. It seems that there are a lot of people out here today that are forgetting what friendship is about and could really do with some reminding by watching Billy's video and perhaps this one. I'm a lot like Billy in that I care about the people that subscribe to me and that have me on their friends list, the people that I'm just coming to know, and good friends that I've known for a while, and even better friends, best friends, that I've known for a long time. On stick cam and on YouTube, there's been a lot of backbiting and talking in the shadows and in the back alleys and gossiping and whispering about other users and what they do and what they say and how they act. A very good friend of mine, who I've known for a long time, and I are having some difficulty with our friendship. You see, what they believe to be true and what I believe to be true are different things. And this has become a thorn in both of our sides. We both have our own perspective. But it's important that we respect the other one's opinion and at least hear what they have to say. The problem is that my friend was very upset and went to someone else that she believed was also their friend or her friend and she talked about our personal relationship with this person and how dissatisfied she was with the way things were going and with the way that she felt I was treating her and how she felt that that was wrong she also had a belief that was contrary to what I've said that I had lied about something and believed in fact that I had admitted to lying to it to her which from my perspective was not the case it was not a lie but she believes it to be true and in her time of sorrow upset and just not knowing what to do mentioned this to another friend that we both shared. Now I was totally unaware that she had been sharing any of this information with anyone and surprised and disappointed that she had. The end result was that I lost two friends. The person that she confided in recently removed me from his room 
not because of anything that I had done to him, not because I broke any of his rules, but because he had listened to the things that she had said to him and decided that he didn't want me as a friend. Now, he never came to me and discussed the situation with me. He never said to me, I understand you guys are having problems and I'd like to be helpful as your friend. He never explained why he removed me from the room. She was upset because she was right in the middle of it. And she told me what had happened and why. And that it had nothing to do with his room or with me personally. It just had to do with the discussions that she had had with him. And this person that I believed to be my friend and that I supported who was taking their videos down and never coming back to YouTube because it was just too stressful and just not worth it never came and talked to me about it the way that a friend does never even told me why he was removing me as his friend and he has a right to do that and I respect him for that I just wish he had talked to me because that's what friends do So, I lost that friend, and I'm no longer welcome, welcome in his room, nor would I want to go there if I was unwanted. Now, the other longtime friend I haven't talked to since that incident, and I don't know that I will again, and that's sad, because I've known them for a long time. But I've come to a place where I realize that they're complicating my life. They're going outside of our friendship and sharing personal details that perhaps they shouldn't be sharing. And this isn't the first time it's happened before. And so rather than have my life complicated, I've stopped communicating with that person, at least for now. Now, I said I was going to make this video, and I was told if I do, that the first friend I mentioned, the one with the room, would come out and expose everything. And I don't have a problem with that. I've never done anything in my life that I'm ashamed of. But I wonder about the confidence that he would be betraying to that person that considered him a friend. And he would be hurting them much more than he would me. And if that friendship is really worth it. But he's going to do what he does. On another note, I have a number of other friends out here on YouTube and on Stick Camp who are in the back alleys and in the shadows, whispering, conniving, conspiring, not only against me, but against others. There are rumors floating around that I have suggested or told people who watch me to unsubscribe from them or from friends of theirs. Now, I like this person. There are times that I think they're full of themselves. I think they exaggerate how well they do some things, but that's just my personal opinion. And you have your personal opinion, and you're welcome to that. It would be very presumptuous of me to tell you who you should or should not subscribe to. There's a person out here that I very much dislike, and there are many of my subscribers that are subscribed to me and to him. Never once have I suggested to any of them that they do anything against this gentleman, that they unsubscribe, that they remove him from their friends list. It's very possible that they see something in him that I simply don't. And that's okay with me. My friendship doesn't require that you only like the people I like. And I wouldn't 
suggest to you who you should or should not be friends with. Even as your friend, I don't have that right. So the rumor's not true. And I felt that it was time that I cleared the air. So for those of you who are perpetuating this rumor, please stop. Because what you're saying is untrue. For those of you who feel attacked because I have publicly said that I think you're a little full of yourself. That sometimes I don't think you follow what you claim to believe. Understand that it's not an attack on you. Someone asked me what I thought. And I was honest with that friend and told them what I thought. And I didn't say anything to them that I wouldn't say to you if you were standing in front of me or in my room. I'm sorry if your feelings are hurt. That's not my intent. And the fact of the matter is, I think at heart you're a good person. I simply believe you're misguided. So, all of that being said, I hope I've put to rest some rumors. I hope that you'll watch my friend Big Billy, or Big Billy Biggin 64. I believe that's the name. If not, I'll put it in here so we're sure to get it right. Billy, welcome to my subscription list. Uh, it's a pleasure to subscribe to you, and I thoroughly enjoyed your last video, and I will be watching more. And to all of you who are my subscribers, my friends, my viewers, my fans, and people who know me, thank you very much for being my friend and for doing what friends do. And for those who haven't, I'll miss you because I considered you a friend. And maybe that was my mistake. Anyway, until next time, this is an Archer saying you be well, and thanks for watching.